I'm Dorno Porter and this is my Bob pop-up shop. I'm leaving it soon, but you're here to talk about my new collection. <laughs> My new collection is called the Equality Collection and it's all about sexual equality and I work with a brilliant print designer called Karen Maben and I said to her a while ago that I wanted to do something about sexuality and came up with these ideas for these prints and she created prints that just worked so brilliantly it all fell into place and then all I had to do was come up with what outfits they were going to go on and the new collection is just a celebration of sexual equality and how far we've come as women and lovers. <laughs> Sexual equality is so important, it's a massive part of all of our lives, men and women. Anyone in the modern world who isn't somehow connected to some issue of sexual equality is, well, I don't know where they live, but I think everybody is. Um, it's hugely important to me as quite a strident feminist and I think fashion and politics go hand in hand. And one of the reasons that I love vintage clothing so much isn't always about the shape, it's about what it meant to women when they wore it for the first time. If you take the 60s for example, imagine wearing a miniskirt for the first time. That was such a political decade for women. They were getting into the workplace, they could afford to buy their own clothes, clothes got cheap and accessible, and they were sexually liberated. And I think the merging of politics and fashion is so fascinating. And I think sometimes we take that for granted. So here I'm in a position to have a collection where we literally wear how we feel. And these prints say a lot, but look really pretty too. The Love Wins print is a celebration of love in all its forms. It was a big year last, last year for same-sex marriage and um, I loved the Love Wins hashtag and I love, you know, you see Love Wins graffiti everywhere and it was just such a positive, warm, brilliant thing that everyone was just saying love in all its forms should be accepted and allowed and how ridiculous is it that someone tells you that you're not allowed to marry the person that you love. So um, I felt very passionately about that and just loved seeing the whole thing unfold and I thought why not put that on a print. So. I said to Karen, I want to do a print that celebrates love in all its forms, and I mean all its forms, men and men, women and women, women and men, frogs and pigs, <laughs> dogs and cats. And the great thing about Karen is that I can come up with an idea and then she comes back to me with a print that I would never in my world dreams even imagine, and she's just nailed it with this print. And um, so I put it onto a shirt and onto a pair of leggings. The shirt has these lovely heart-shaped buttons and the leggings are set onto a deep purple and just very kind of easy to wear piece of casual clothing which I wear all the time. Quite controversial though. I hadn't realised until I put leggings into a collection how many people hate leggings and how many people love leggings and how divided those camps are. I mean I've seen hot, hot debates going on about whether leggings are acceptable pieces of clothing or not. I love them, obviously. I'd say more so in the past than now, you know, fashion very directly changed the way that women could live their w lives. I mean, when you think about when Christian Dior uh, created the new look and gave them these waspish little waists again and basically shoved them back in the kitchen, it's incredibly controversial, but it's very pretty. <laughs> and I think that, um, you know, it was, it was a very, very direct relationship with the di designer and the woman on the street. And um, I'm not sure that happens so much anymore because I do think that the revolutions have been have been and happened. And now what we can do is take the best of what happened and recreate it for the modern woman. Now, I really enjoy the politics and fashion. I, I'm very into the idea that fashion is a statement. And here I am in a position to actually put how I feel onto a dress. Um, I hopefully continue to do it in further collections because I, I do think that they go hand in hand. And no woman will deny that what they're wearing affects the way that they feel and the way that they behave and you put on a powerful dress and you feel powerful. You put on some leggings <laughs> and you feel relaxed and you have a very casual day. So anyone who says that fashion doesn't affect the way that you feel within yourself, the way that you behave, the way that women are, I just think is kind of missing the point really. When you love vintage clothing, you see all these made in London, made in Eng England labels. And I feel really passionately about the British manufacturing industry. I find it so sad that it doesn't really exist anymore or that it's just too expensive and a lot of brands just can't afford to do it. Um, when I started Bob, I was manufacturing in Romania and England and I'm so proud that I've got to a point where this entire collection is made in London. I think I'm a small brand and I can do it and I just wish that more did. I would love to think that in 10 years time there are more brands like me finding it really important to manufacture here. It was one of our main trades not that long ago and now it's almost completely gone and when you think about what the alternative is um, it's kind of sickening really. 
And I think if more brands got really behind it, then it would come back. Um, so this is all available from the 20th of January on the website, which is www.bobbydop.com, which is how I realised it looked after I created the website. Um, and also we've got a shop, 33 Marshall Street, and we pop up all over the place.